Record Store Day 2021, Drop One. Ahoy hoy everybody and welcome to my haul video for Record Store Day 2021 Drop 1. So it is Saturday the 12th of June and first drop is done. So when dates for Record Store Day were announced, 12th of June, I thought, oh great, checked my shifts and oh good, it's my weekend where I'm on late shifts so I don't start till 12 o'clock, no problem whatsoever. Merrily plodded along thinking that and then when I was doing the rotors for work a few weeks ago, I suddenly realised that the person who would have been on the early shift is on holiday, so I would have to do an all-day shift. So I put myself down for a half nine start, um, thinking that it, the shop would be opening at nine. As it was, it opened at eight, so I managed to get to work early, but I've been up since three o'clock this morning and then just done a nine-hour shift at work, so... Ugh got home and now I can go through what I've got. So this year I went to a slice of vinyl in Gosport. Last couple of years I've been to Heathen Chemistry in Fairham but this year is Slice of Vinyl's first record store day so I wanted to support Kieran there um, and he's done a cracking job. He's got loads of stock he got in. Um, I've managed to get everything that I wanted but he also made a day of it. Um, as I say, he opened at eight, but he was in just before seven with Louisa, the girl who also works there on certain days. And they made tea and coffee for as many people as they had cups for. And everybody had a donut as well. And he also did goodie bags that he put together himself. There's a couple of bits that were, that came via RSD, but most of it is stuff he's made up. First 10 people in the queue got a deluxe goodie bag if you like but then he did 20 more for the next 20 in the queue with not quite as much stuff in them um so yes i got up at three o'clock got ready headed down into gosport and i got there about quarter to four and there was there was five people in front of me but actually the first two people were a couple and they were just going in together so i was technically fourth in the queue um waited around entertained by a couple of foxes, a local nutter and a few other occurrences. Then we had, as I say, our, our coffee, my coffee and donuts. And then he actually started letting us in just before eight. And it was one at a time, unless you're in a bubble, then you could go in together. Because it was a, a compact area where all the record store day stock was. Um, he'd done a video Friday night showing what he had in, how many of each. He mentioned some prices, but not all. But it meant I had a good idea of what was where. Um, but yeah, as I say, fourth in. I had no problem getting what I wanted. But the goodie bags he handed out about you know, 20 minutes before we opened. So I'll show you what was in there first. If you're not interested and you just want to skip straight to what I bought, I'll put a time in the description below of when that starts. Um, okay, so, yes, so he came out with these. And inside, so this, he had 10 of these supplied by Record Store Day and Meantime Beer, I think. Or it might have been with Rega, who are the official turntable of Record Store Day. But yeah, nice felt slip mat. Very nice. Then, an album. So this is an album by The Deads, who are actually a Gosport band. Um, who he's been championing for a while and I believe there was one of these in all 30 bags which is very generous. Uh, I, I've heard bits of this because he was playing it while I was in there one day and it's good good rock music, indie rock. So happy to have this. I did semi consider buying it so now I don't need to. I think that retails for 15 quid normally, so to have that in there alone is very generous. But also, I had a CD 
and I've got No Treasure But Hope by the Tinder Sticks. Uh, some people add Arctic Monkeys Tranquility Base Hotel, is it called? That one, uh, which I would quite happily have had, but I don't own any Tinder Sticks, so this will be interesting. And also, uh, we all got a mug, or certainly the first 10 did, I don't know beyond that. Uh, very random, I've got Kings of Leon. Not sure what I'll do with this because I'm not particularly a Kings of Leon fan and we've got shitloads of mugs so I might do something with that. Might give that away, we shall see. That's sort of a big object but oh, that's my receipt. Ouch is all I will say to that. Um, so we've also got a bag of Haribo Star Mix, a little bag of Tang Plastic. A little bag of Skittles. Uh, badges? No generation. Well, nowhere generation. Raw. Means nothing to me. Uh, some more badges. Blackberry smoke. Again, means nothing to me. Uh, we've got some stickers and a guitar pick, I think. Yeah. So we've got a couple of slice of vinyl, no, one slice of vinyl sticker to add to my collection. See them up there. Uh, Smokestack Studios sticker, Public Enemy sticker, Oasis sticker. Iggy and Mastoogie's Raw Power sticker, Nine Inch Nails sticker, and a Mason Hill guitar pick. So that's all sort of, sort of promo stuff he gets sent, but he's sort of stuck in there with the badges. But yeah, nice little goodie bag. And then also the first 10 had one of the official Record Store Day tote bags, which he sort of saved and just put our records in, so you'll see that shortly. But yeah, so that's that was the goodie bag, very generous. And then, so I initially had 13 records, but when the list came out, I said, oh yes, please, can please get. Then there was one that was announced later that I had, uh, that I decided I would get. One that I very recently decided to get. I'd been dithering over it, but decided against it. But then, all oh, will come clear when I show it. But then, um, there is an, an added bit to it. But I thought, oh yeah, I will get that. And then, so that made it 15, which is what I thought I was getting today. But then when I was in the queue waiting, my friend Paul Aiden commented, uh, he lives in Australia and he, so obviously he, his record store day started a few hours earlier than ours and he'd picked up the Prince release which you will see and then another album which he highly recommended particularly to Prince fans so on his advice I've bought it um, I'm sure I will enjoy it okay so yes this is the official record store day tote bag um, done in partnership with Mean Time Beer who produced a 33.45 Ale, which Kieran was selling, but I didn't pick one up. And then, first little watch. Uh, so I've literally, you know, I came home, dropped these off, got changed and went to work. So I've not looked at these at all. Uh, first up we have the Blue Tones and New Athens. So this was their last album. Any mistakes I make, I apologise, but as I say, I've been up since three o'clock, I'm knackered. It's now, what is it? Uh, quarter past six in the evening. Um, so I have this on CD, but I don't think it's ever had a vinyl release until now. But it's through Demon and it's part of their reissue campaign that's starting next month. Uh, no download code. But love the Blue Tones, one of my favourite bands. That's on a nice blue vinyl, appropriately enough. Uh, 
And next, uh, that was 28 99 for those of you keeping score. Next is Bernard Butler's People Move On. Uh, best on 108 gram clear vinyl. So this is £30.99. Uh, another Demon release. I'm... It's not a gatefold in most two discs. Some of you may know I have a mixed relationship with Suede. I like them, but I struggle a lot with Brett's voice, particularly in the early years. And there's a fairly recent discovery for me at the time. They, I had no interest in them. Um, but when after Bernard left, he did his project with uh, project with David McAlmont, and I love that album. And yes, is one of the greatest singles ever made. He's also worked with Duke Special since, and he's done lots of other stuff that has interested me, so I thought I'd try his solo album. Nice inner sleeves. On. Clear. Yeah, looking forward to giving that a spin. Next up, as soon as it was announced, I thought, oh yeah, I'll have that. Um, this is Republica's self-titled debut, I think, album. Not sure how many albums they actually released. But this includes Ready to Go and Drop Dead Gorgeous, which are two terrific singles. So I thought, yeah, I'll go for that. It's a music on vinyl release. This was available in two colours. You could either have blue or red. I went into it only knowing there was red, because on the Record Store Day listing, it says Republica, Republica, or whatever it says, translucent red vinyl edition. But then in the blurb, which I didn't read, it says it's actually on choice of either transparent red or transparent blue. Um, so I, track listing, it's numbered, uh, number 186 I have. Out of 1500, nice low number. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I went, you know, until yesterday, I thought I was getting a translucent red vinyl version of it. Then, when Kieran was doing his video, he said, We've got both colours. Both colours? So I investigated, and I still didn't know which one I was going to get. Um, and for some reason, I even found a red one first, but I think, no, I'll have a blue. Um, they're both sort of good colours, they both match the artwork nicely. It's a nice textured sleeve, this. Sort of a uh, 1970s photo type texture, which some of you might understand. So it comes with a four page lyric booklet. Polyline sleeve and translucent blue. And this was twenty four ninety nine. Back in afterwards, I think. Uh, next, Genesis live at Nebworth. Uh, Mama and the Turn It On Again medley. So it's just a 12 inch single from the Nordorf Robbins charity concert in 1990, which I had on cassette. But for the Genesis collection, uh, hand numbered number 1183 out of 3000. Uh, there we go. Get into this. Uh, did I say it was fourteen ninety nine? If I didn't, it's fourteen ninety nine. And if it did, it was still fourteen ninety nine. Quite a lot for a two track single, and it's just on black vinyl. But yeah, for the Genesis collection, I thought I'd go for it. They also released uh, Robert Plant and Status Quo like this 
for the Supergrass collection, this is Going Out, 12 inch single, 25th anniversary edition, limited edition, 6 track, 12 inch single, original 1996 single tracks, plus other live versions, burgundy and silver, 2 colour vinyl, environmentally friendly paper and card source, 45 RPM, 1999. So yeah, side A is the tracks that were on the original single release. So that is um, Going Out, Melanie Davis, Strange Ones, live from the Plaza Ballroom, Glasgow. And the B-side has Where Have All The Good Times Gone, live, Melanie Davis, live, and Going Out, live. I'm, I haven't checked. I'm not sure if these versions are on the big, which you can't see, but the big Supergrass box set that I got last year. Yeah, burgundy and silver. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. So it sort of goes from translucent burgundy to a mixture to then the solid silver in the middle. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so next up was the one that was sort of released, uh, announced rather, a bit after the main wadry of announcements. And it was at the same time as he was announced as the Records Draw Day patron, or whatever it is, champion for this year. And this is Back the Way We Came, The Best of Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds, Volume 1, 2011 to 2021. Um, yes, yeah, so as, again, as some of you may know, I have a bit of a funny relationship with Oasis as well. I really didn't like him at first, being a Blur fan. But then, I over a weekend camping... I had What's the Story Morning Glory album drilled into me and grew to love it. So I bought that, went back and got Definitely Maybe, which I, I like, but I don't think is quite as good as everybody makes out. Uh, when Be Here Now came out, I wasn't going to rush to get it. You know, there was all the fuss when it came out. But my local record shop in, in Gosport, not Slice of Vinyl, uh, reflex records um had opened early and i was walking from a bus station into work when i used to work at the post office in gosport and i saw that they were open i thought oh sod it and went in and bought it um which and i i quite like um what did it what's it called i've just said it be here now bought standing on the shoulder of giants really didn't rate it and sort of gave up then and it's only recently I've gone back and picked up the rest of the albums in charity shops and, and they're mixed. I like some of them. But I've always preferred Noel Gallagher's voice to Liam's, particularly after Liam had his teeth knocked out in that fight in Amsterdam. He's, and ever since then, he sounded very Kermity. But I've always preferred Noel Gallagher's voice. I've liked most of the High Flying Birds singles I've heard, but never sort of enough to make me want to buy all the albums, etc. But when this was announced, I thought, oh yeah. A nice compilation will do me nicely. Uh, a normal version was released yesterday, but then for Record Store Day... Oh, I was just going to say, this is meant to be coloured vinyl. But <laughs> I was going to complain then. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, like that. Print. Decent quality paper. Not a great print. Don't really want to. Why would I want a shot of Noel Gallagher's ass? <laughs> yeah, very nice. Uh, next is one from my Kinks collection. And it's Percy, the soundtrack. That they did for the film, which I do own. Uh, $28.99. Noel was $39.99. This is a bit of a strange release because they've gone to the effort of replicating the sleeve and it's in the original texture, which I shall try and... The original textured sleeve replicated, you know, it makes a boast of it. And it's 
That'll come out. I'll try to see if you can... Oh, I don't think you can see. But it's almost... It's almost like 70s wallpaper. It's, really, it's nicely done. So I've gone through all that effort and I've stuck the record in a... Lots of poly lines in a sleeve. I know this because I saw an unboxing of it. Um, but it's a picture disc. So why do a release where you can't see the picture disc? Why do a picture disc at all? Although it is a nice picture disc, I do like it. It's a bit of a... yeah, I'm not sure about this. The idea behind it, but I wanted the music basically for my Kinks collection. So it's a mixture of, I think, new tracks and classics, I think. Okay, this was the one that I decided against when it was announced. After initially thinking, ooh, um, it's Small Faces Complete Greatest Hits. So the reason I've decided against it is because I have a Small Faces Greatest Hits. Um, but then... When I found out that this contains a signed postcard by Kenny Jones, I thought, oh, I'll go for that. So it's twenty six ninety nine on red, white and blue mod vinyl. Um, also, this contains the Decca and Immediate singles, whereas I'm pretty certain the compilation I have doesn't. But yeah, so it's got Sha La 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 Lee and All or Nothing and Ichiku Park and Tin Soldier and Lazy Sunday. Anyway, amongst many others. So here's the signed postcard, nice signature, and sort of little bios of all the band members on the back. And this looks like it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, that's the label. Oh, it's not quite sort of all the splatters in the middle. For me, it looked like it was going to be mainly blue with white and red. Still very nice, but not quite as nice. When I, I could just see that bit and it looked more solid. So I thought it was going to be more blue, but still, I still like it very much. So this next one is the one that Paul Aiden recommended. So for thirty one ninety nine, this is Donny Hathaway Live. Apparently this is just a classic live album and he said it reminded him of Prince's after show concerts. So I thought I would give it a go. He's got covers of Jealous Guy, What's Going On, You've Got a Friend on here. It looks, it's, over, it's one side's at the Troubadour Hollywood and the other side is at the Bitter End in New York City. Limited edition of 8,500 but it's not numbered. Uh, it is a gatefold, so let's get it open. Nice matte sleeve. It's just a black, I think. Ooh. Nice. Thick cardboard, polyline sleeve, yeah, yeah. So looking forward to giving that a spin and finding out quite how good it is. Okay, so there's one more match one, but I need one from the rest of the bag to make sense of it. So we have a Police Live Volume 1, Boston 1979. First time on vinyl for this stunning concert, captures a band at their most frantic and energetic. Highlights include So Lonely, Beg's, Bed's Too Big Without You, Roxanne Walking on the Moon, Can't Stand Losing You. Remastered at Abbey Road exclusive for this release, pressed on heavyweight double blue vinyl. Um, so I have all the police's albums and enjoy them. I am aware I've not got the best live reputation. But I 
wanted this and its sister release and I will judge for myself uh, gate fold but it's not going to open easily so particularly record store day I like to keep all the stickers because it tells you what's special about them uh, it's 37.99 not sure if I mentioned that come on Nice pictures of Stuart and Andy. Nice blue. And then we got Sting and the credits. So yes, also released, as I say, it's sister release, is Place Live Volume 2, Atlanta 1983. Uh, Synchronicity Concert 1983, first time on vinyl, blah 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 Highlights for band at its peak, includes every breath you take, da do 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 da 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 don't stand so close to me, remastered at Abbey Road, exclusively for this release, pressed on heavyweight double red vinyl. So, I'm not quite sure about the artwork, given it's two different concerts you know in four years apart I'm not entirely sure about the artwork being the same but different colours I would have preferred you know appropriate photography for each show oh. so this was also Thirty-seven ninety-nine. Uh, so at least a shot in the middle is appropriate. But yeah, it's even the inner sleeves. So say it was nice translucent red. Yeah. Smacks of lack of care. Next up we have the War Child release of the Help EPs, twenty one ninety nine. Um so War Child in the 90s uh, released a series of EPs to raise money featuring exclusive tracks by various artists um, and they've paired a couple of them together I think it's two of them on here and side A contains Radiohead doing Lucky, PJ Harvey doing 50 Foot Queenie Live which is the main reason I wanted it uh, Guru doing Momentum Goro's Jazzmataz, Jazzmataz. Uh, Portishead doing Untitled. Smoking Mojo Filters doing Come Together. Sorry, I'm struggling to get into this. Uh, Smoking Mojo Filters are Paul McCartney, Noel Gallagher, Paul Weller, possibly some others, I think, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, Beautiful South doing a minute silence, Dodgy doing Is It Me and Black Grape with an In the Name of a Father remix. Twenty one ninety nine. They also did a whole album that was recorded in 24 hours, which I have on CD but was reissued on vinyl last year as well, which contains some of these artists and does contain that Smoking Mojo Filters track. But yeah. Glad I've got that. And then the last 12 inch sized release I bought was my main target, of course. This is Prince's The Truth. Uh, the Raw Acoustic Guitar Charge Collection on vinyl for the very first time. $29.99. So, The Truth was originally released as part of the Crystal Ball collection. So, Crystal Ball was a free CD set of previously unreleased 
vault tracks in theory although there's lots of remixes and various other bits on there that sort of lessened the collection a bit but it, the fourth disc was for truth and then you could also buy a five disc version through his website that contained Kama Sutra which was a ballet he wrote for his wife um, but the truth was in all versions of it and as it said it's it's, it's billed as his first acoustic album it's not entirely acoustic he has overdubbed some various bits but it is a great album I would probably put it in my top 10 print albums uh, but it's a beautiful presentation so it's the only physical release it's ever had is just literally a compact disc no booklet or anything like that um, but he did sort of plan some artwork and this is based on that by Steve Park who's a regular photographer and designer for Prince um, so yeah nice photo on the cover and then a symbol in gold foil because it was a symbol album rather than a Prince album and then nice picture of him with his guitar and all the tracks again in gold foil in various fonts and then we have well this is good a lyric booklet we've never had the lyrics officially before I don't think and a nice image of him playing this guitar and then for once they've not gone for a purple vinyl route it's just plain black which is nice it sort of suits the sort of low-key acoustic nature of the album I think so yeah that will jump the queue to get a listen because it is as I say fantastic album really happy with that so that was all as I say the 12 inch size releases a few seven inches come on play nice thank you so for my Bond collection uh, a Silver Screen Records release with James Bond theme and Goldfinger numbered 159 of 2007 why 2000? oh 2007 I suppose but, um, but nice gold foil let's take it out it was, this was 16.99 for a single but nice foiling on there and on the back so it's got the City of Prague Philharmonica Orchestra playing the James Bond theme but with Vic Flick playing the guitar and he played the guitar on the original John Barry 7 recording of the theme tune uh, and then B-side is Goldfinger performed by London Music Works with vocals by Louise Dearman but yeah I have to get back from the Bond collection This is Heim, 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 Heim. Um, Gasoline, which featured on their Women in Music Part 3 album. But this also has a duet version with Taylor Swift. So I like Heim and I have two of their three albums, including Women in Music Part 3. But I equally, or even more, like Taylor Swift. And this is the only place physically that is available so it was a bit of a no-brainer to pick it up on Polydor on a nice blue sky blue whatever blue you want to call that vinyl uh, it was also 16.99 and finally uh, for 54.99 this is the Elastica singles box set number 390 of a thousand on Rough Trade a big fan of Elastica, particularly their first album and related stuff. It's proper cardboard feel to it, although the numbering is um, embossed in silver, silver foil. There you go. Then we have this little. I thought they were stickers initially but they're not uh, card with the tracks 
on it. So all these singles are quite rare nowadays and cost a fair bit to get. So to get them all bundled together like this is good. Uh, so this has got Stutter and Pussycat or Black Vinyl. Uh, this is Line Up and Vaseline, two magnificent tracks. Connection and See That Animal. Waking Up and Gloria. And Brighton Rock and Car Wash. So that was it. That cost me a considerable sum, as I'm sure you can imagine. It was weird, because when the list first came out, I thought, ooh, it's not much on it. And then when I looked again, I thought, oh no, there is a lot on it, actually. There's a lot of these are actually people I collect. You know, they're not just... There are some whims, if you like, but most of them are actually for collections. Uh, Records All Day 2, we'll drop to July 17th. Uh, which I need to swap a shift from because I'm meant to be on earlies. It's not as much. Uh, there was one release that I was looking forward to and that seems to have vanished, which was a Dire Straits Encore EP. Um, but there's a couple of releases that have sort of been announced since the initial list came out. I can't remember what they are now, but I thought, oh yeah, I'll get those. So there's a few, but certainly nowhere near. Uh, one of the things I want is the Gorillaz box set of all their albums just for convenience really because I have two or three of their albums on CD and sort of stopped after that so it's a nice way of just getting all their albums that's not going back on so yeah I want to get that I've no idea how expensive that's going to be because it's eight discs I think so that's probably going to be a couple of hundred quid so it'll take the cost up but there's no end of a volume um but yeah hope you enjoyed that let me know what you've got um Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Thanks.